improving. You waste 50% fewer strips when you use our meter, which means greater savings for people with diabetes like me. Now hey, you do pipe water here. Thank you, check of Viva. Coming to you live from Tobacco World. Are you on the fence about refinancing? Worried about the right time? Or getting the best rate? Well, it's time to get off the fence. Introducing Ditex Refi Rate Sale. Your chance to get a special low rate on the most popular loan products. But this sale ends November 30th, so don't miss out. I'm doing something a little bit different tonight. <clears throat> My girlfriend is heading to Tennessee this weekend. And has indicated to me that she wants to take the camcorder with her so she can film some time with her sister and her nephews up in Tennessee. So I will be without camcorder capability this weekend. So, uh, this is the second of maybe two or three videos that I'll, that I'll be making today. So she'll, she'll be going tomorrow. And the national desk kind of works simultaneously. In just over two hours, the United Nations will hold a special session on the situation. I made a video of me smoking to a rock song in my car just now. The focus of the meeting will be on security. And uh, I thought it came out okay. And uh, this video is a Thursday edition of Friday Night Pipes. So, this week's Friday Night Pipes will still go on, but it will be broadcast on the internet on my Pipe Lawyer channel on Thursday evening tonight. Well, Frank, you know the President has had the Pentagon do a war game scenario involving sending an additional 10 to 15,000 troops to and, uh, and if you've been watching my Friday Night Pipes series, you know that weekly I pick what I call an MVP or a most valuable pipe for the week. And I had another pipe in mind to feature this week, but I received a comment on one of, on one of the videos that I made a couple of days ago when I was doing my uh, Sherlock Holmes video and what pipe he would smoke. <clears throat> and one of the viewers commented that uh, the Boswell pipe I had in that video was the most beautiful one that he had seen made by Boswell's. So, keeping that in mind, this week's most valuable pipe is my Sherlock Holmes video Boswell pipe. It's a classic sized Oom Paul that I got a week and a half ago. And I'll bring it in closer so you get a good look at the grain. Uh, it's a natural finish, natural light wood finish, but it's characteristically getting darker as I smoke it more and more. Wonderful stain on it, wonderful grain. Look on the bottom, you see some continuation of some nice straight grain there. Wonderful, and as you can see, it's got a diamond-shaped shank with a saddle stem. I put a little rubber bit there, as, as is my custom. Good stuff. It's a very good pipe. Uh, I mentioned in the video that I had introduced this pipe to you that it smoked like a jumbo Boswell, even though it was a classic size Boswell. It had a very good draw to it, and that still holds true. And in my somewhat large hand, it is kind of small, but when I pop it in my jaw, it looks fine. Weighs next to nothing. It's a great driving pipe. Uh, when I drive, I, I prefer uh, pipes that have a half or three quarter or a full bend. And this is a full bend pipe. And I'm smoking in my Boswell this evening some creme brulee tobacco. It's, it's an aromatic from uh, Altatus. 
there are two there are two issues at stake here, Harris. The first of all is the issue of uncertainty. What soldiers want to know is what's the mission, what are the tasks that they have, and what do I have to do? The second is I'm smoking the it now after having had a big lunch. And if you know me, you know that I have a taste for sweets, particularly chocolate. I'm a self-professed and self-confessed chocoholic, and I'm proud of it. And um, usually after a big meal, I, I like to have <coughs> something sweet, at least something small. But I instead opted to smoke a bowl or a couple of bowls of of a uh, semi-sweet chocolate blend like creme brulee, and it got me to thinking. And uh, it's kind of become the topic of discussion for this video, which is: Do you ever smoke a certain blend? be it an aromatic or an English blend for purposes of an aperitif or a dessert after a meal or before a meal. Um, I'll, I will smoke something like this that's sweet like this, semi-sweet or sweet as an alternative to actually ordering a sweet dish be a chocolate mousse, a creme brulee, or you know, ice cream, or you know, any kind of pastry, and uh, I find, depending on the size of the meal that I've just had, that smoking a sweet blend will actually satisfy that craving, and my my, my senses will. Uh, be satisfied and will be fulfilled as to that supposed need. So I'm just wondering, is there anyone else out there who likes to smoke a certain type of blend as an aperitif or a dessert? Uh, let me know your thoughts and which ones you smoke and after what type of meal or do you smoke different types of blends after certain types of meal or do you smoke a certain type of blend instead of, say, a glass of wine or a glass of port? Or do you smoke a rum-flavored or whiskey-flavored blend as opposed to having a glass of ale or rum or scotch or what have you? Just a thought. Drop me a line, if you would. I will try to make another video uh, to compensate for my absence from my, my uh, popular channel this weekend. <clears throat> but let me know. Okay, so this week's most valuable pipe is the Sherlock Holmes video Boswell Umpal, wherein I disclosed and exposed that Sherlock Holmes smoked a Boswell. And your comments were funny. Thank you so much. Uh, I was glad I was able to provide some humor. Dry humor, but still. When I read that line in that uh, story of scandal in, scandal in Bohemia, and I came upon that line where Holmes said that he would be lost without his Boswell, I knew I just had to make a video about that and, and make that my topic. So, anyway, what blend do you smoke? as an aperitif. Let me know. Until next time, this is Pipe Lawyer saying cheers. And remember, I'll present the evidence, but you, you be the judge. Take care. Thanks.